Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing. It looks a little different this month because I haven't taken it out of its shipping package yet, but this is our Nightworms March box unboxing. And can you guess what I'm gonna say? Yep, I'm so excited to unbox this. Um, I really wasn't in the mood to film today, so if I feel kind of like, or if I seem kind of like, uh, but I was just staring at this there and I'm like, okay, I have to open it and so therefore I have to film and I'm feeling a little better now. I was feeling kind of like, uh, but doing my makeup and listening to music and now unboxing this, I'm in a little bit of a better mood. So let's get to opening. I'm always afraid to use the scissors just in case I cut something in there. So that's why I'm like trying to rip it open. It's a... It's a chunky one this month. Like it came, it came thick. <laughs> the box came thick, just like me. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, okay. All right. Okay. So the first thing I see here, normally you just see the little black packaging, but uh, we got a, a Scream magazine this time around, and I always get so upset because. Every time I go to Barnes & Noble, I always forget to look for the magazine because I, I believe they sell it at Barnes & Noble. Um, and so I, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm trying not to use the word excited. So if you see me do the, this, it's because I'm trying not to use excited like I did in the last video that I literally had to cut out a hundred times the word excited from my video. But yeah, Scream Magazine, if you guys have never heard of this, it's just a horror magazine um, out in the scene. So can't wait to dive in that because I've been wanting to buy that magazine for a while now. And so here it is. Here is the Notorious Black Nightworms package. And let's get to opening this bad boy because as I said earlier, it's a thick bitch this time. So let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. It's so thick that it's like <laughs> bursting at the seams. As always, I just, every time I open this package, I love the color of it. Um, the black and the white is just, that's my aesthetic. I love it so much. And so I don't know which way to open it. <laughs> because it's like, like I said, it's busting at the seams. So, alrighty, let's see what's in here. Oh gosh, I'm looking for the little, the little, the little uh, black, envelope where I know all the little paper goodies are at and I just I like opening that first for whatever reason so let's see what we have in here this time pulling it out oh oh I see hot cocoa <laughs> so this month's box which is March's box is called the deadly occult I just know one thing that's in here so and the one thing that I know is in here is the little Nightworms magnet. And I was uh, commenting on their um, on their post. They have spoiler posts throughout, like I've mentioned a million times. And I always try to pass through it, but this time it got the best of me. And I slid the picture through and I saw that we were getting a magnet. And I was telling them that I was just thinking about going online and ordering some magnets for my TBR cart because I got a TBR cart like about a month ago and I I got it in black because you know black and white hello but um I wanted to go online and buy magnets for it and it just so happened that this month they sent a night they sent a nightworms uh magnet see if it focuses so it is so beautiful because I love their logo and this will be the first magnet on my TBR cart. So I'm looking forward to placing that on there. Next thing I see is a Mayan hot cocoa. Um, and it's just a hot cocoa mix, which I'm probably going to dive into um, when I finish filming. 
because it is 24 degrees outside and we are on March 5th. Today is March 5th and I just, I cannot believe that it is 24 degrees outside. I'm in Texas and by this time of the year, we're already like halfway through summer. But this year, like it's been crazy. The weather has been crazy. So I'm gonna dip into that when I'm done with this video. Then we have our little card um, with everything that is featured in the box. Then let's see, let's see what we got here. I don't know what this is, but it's uh, like a website. And then we have these two stickers. Um, which are the same, but they are just fantastically dark. Love it so much. And then we have, I think this is another sticker. Yep, this is another sticker for um, by DansMonsters.com. If it focuses anytime, there we go. I think it's focused, so we have that. Then we have this, that it is a picture um, and I don't know who it's from because I don't read the uh, little postcard, but I will leave everything linked on the bottom and it's an actual like photo. So that is pretty cool. Then we have our, so I guess all of these are by Dan's Monsters um, because then we have a book, a bookworm. We have a bookworm, a bookmark here that looks like this. And then it says uh, Dan's Monsters on the back. I hope that is focusing. And then we have a couple other um, prints, or just one more print by uh, dansmonsters.com. Is it Dan's Monsters? Yeah, dansmonsters.com. And that is creepy, creepy weepy. Okay, and then we have just a, a paper from Flame Press, from Flame Tree Press. And now we're gonna get into the books that we got this month. So the first one that I see here, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to read this one forever. And it's by Jonathan Jans. I hope that's how you say his name. Um, I do follow him on Instagram and I've been dying to read one of his books. He is uh, very well praised on the Instagram horror community and I've never read anything by him. So I'm so excited to have this. And that is The Nightmare Girl. And that is what it looks like. Look at that creepy cover creepy 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 so i'm going to tell you what this book is about it says uh when joe crawford confronts a young mother abusing her toddler in a gas station parking lot he doesn't know the little boy stevie will end up in a foster home he doesn't know that the mother will soon burn herself alive in grief and rage after the mother's suicide joe is tormented by the guilt of leaving a child orphaned but soon his family are plagued by inexplicable events Pushed to his limits, Joe becomes friends with the local police chief, Daryl Copeland, who tells him more details of Stevie's abuse and the deadly fire cult his mother belonged to. The cult is planning their revenge on Joe, and they want Stevie back too. Their violent onslaught is only just the beginning, and Joe must do everything he can to keep his family and Stevie safe. And this cover is everything creepy that there ever has been. And then, and all of these are by Flame Tree press then we have will haunt you by brian kirk you don't read this book it reads you i mean <laughs> and this is i've never heard of this author before but i have seen this book floating around um bookstagram and this says rumors of a deadly book have been floating around the dark corners of the deep web a disturbing tale about a mysterious figure who preys on those who read the book okay i already don't want to read this <laughs> Jesse Wheeler, former guitarist of a heavy metal group, was quick to discount the ominous folklore associated with the book. It takes more than some urban legend to frighten him, but Jesse is wrong. The legend is real and soon he will become the protagonist in a scheme specifically tailored to prey on his fears. So that sounds, that sounds intense. Ooh, you guys, look at this notebook we got. This is just a notebook. It has a little magnet here and then um, it's just a lined notebook, but it is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the details of it. Um, maybe there. Oh my, this is beautiful. Wow, it's a Flame Tree notebook, so it's by Flame Tree as well. Wow, I'm so excited for that. Okay, I've said it twice already. I said it twice. 
Oh, we got two notebooks. And this just says Flame Tree Press Fiction Without Frontiers, Horror Crime, SF, and Fantasy. Oh, this one's cool too. And it's also magnetized um, to open. And it's just a lined notebook and it has a, a ribbon um, bookmark down there. Wow, this was pretty cool. I'm, I'm really liking these notebooks, especially this one. Oh, sorry, I just... So yeah, that was everything that we got in our box this time. And I am so excited to read this one. All right, all right. I slipped three exciteds, exciteds in the video, so excuse me. So yeah, that was everything that we got in the box. It, I, I really liked this one. I really like this one, <laughs> mostly because of the magnet. I know I'm stupid. The smallest things make me happy, but I'm most excited for The Nightmare Girl. Um, I really wanna read that one. It looks, it looks creepy. That girl looks creepy. Imagine coming into the room and just seeing her in the corner of your room in the dark. No. Did I just give you the creeps and the willies? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, I would leave all the links below to uh, Nightworms and uh, Flame Tree Press because this was um, that was a theme this month. And also for DansMonsters.com if you want any prints. I don't know if they sell prints in the website, but I will leave everything linked down below as always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 On to the next video.